acceleration. Acceleration happens mostly in non-uniform motion. When the body is in non-uniform motion, the change in velocity happens. It means the velocity of a body changes with time. Hence, let us see acceleration in non-uniform motion. So, in non-uniform motion, the velocity of a body varies with time. When velocity of a body is increasing, the body is said to be accelerating. Let us see it with an example. Let us say a car is starting from point A to point B. It's moving from A to B at an initial velocity u as 0 and final velocity v as 10 meter per second and the total time is 5 seconds. It means if I divide it, it's 5 equal parts and at each second the velocity is changing by 2 meter per second. So here it is 2 meter, here it is 4 meter per second, at third second it is 6 meter per second, at fourth second it is 8 meter per second and and in fifth second, it is 10 meter per second. What does this diagram say? It says the change in velocity in each second is 2 meter per second. And the rate of change in velocity, which is always taken per unit time, in this case is 2 meter per second per second, which is nothing but 2 meter per second square. This is what we call as acceleration. Now let us see the definition of acceleration. Acceleration of a body is defined as the rate of change of its velocity with time. So the acceleration of a body is defined as the rate of change of its velocity with time. So acceleration is represented as A is equal to change in velocity divided by time taken for the change. So the change in velocity is final velocity minus initial velocity V minus U by T where V is always greater than U. Let us see an example to understand it better. The car is moving from A to B with an acceleration of A with an initial velocity 0 meter per second and final velocity as 10 meter per second and it has taken 5 seconds to travel. Now we will say final velocity at B point B is 10 meter per second and T is equal to 5 seconds and initial velocity at A is given as 0 meter per second. Now to find the acceleration in this example is A is equal to V minus U by T. So V here is 10 meter per second minus 0 meter per second divided by T is 5 seconds. So this is 10 by 5 meter per second square which is 2 meter per second square or 2 meter second minus 2. Hence units for acceleration is meter per second square or meter second minus 2 and acceleration is a vector quantity as it depends on velocity.